going to apply as promised so far on the major causes or factors that led to the outbreak of the jihad of Osman and Fudio in the 19th century in Hausa land. Sequel to the previous lecture on the jihad of Osman and Fudio, I said that in our next edition, I am going to outline the major factors that led to the outbreak of the jihad of Usman and Fudio in Nigeria in 19th century, which it goes this way. The jihad of Usman and Fudio took place in the Hausa land in 19th century by an Islamic scholar called Usman and Fudio. The factors are political factors, political factor, social factor, religious factor, and economic factor. The political factor, I said the Hausa community in 19th century, it was under the dictatorial political system of administration of the Hadi rulers. That is the Maguzawa, the original people of Hausa in those days. Those people, they run an exploitative and dictatorial form of administration, which is based on exploitation and injustice in the society. And those people, they claim to be Muslims, but they are nominally Muslims, as they are on teaching leadership and practices does not go in line with the Islamic laws and principles. And that is one factor that lets Usman and Fudio to begin to preach against them. Secondly, we have the social factor. Social factor lies to social problems, general social vices that affect the community of House Island in those days, like gambling, prostitution, that is adultery and fornication, alcoholism, killing, raiding, and all sorts of vices. Those are the main two challenge rampaging the Hausa community in those days. So Usman and began to look at these vices as the ones similar to that of the pre- Islamic, that is the Jahiliya period, experienced by the Arabs before the coming of Islam. So, Usman al began to also preach and go against through his teaching and preaching in the community, which the leaders and the authority of Habi rulers began to look upon its, his activities as a threat to their authority and power. Thirdly, we have the religious factor. Religious here, the Habi rulers engage in shirk, that is syncretism in English, where they claim to be Muslims, but they worship and believe with other deities, along with Allah. Therefore, they believe with Iskokai, they believe with Bori, which is the greatest sin in Islam. So Usman al began to also expose those evil practices of those people who claim to be Muslims. And he began to preach against them. And it is what also led to the jihad of Usman al in the 19th century. Then, fourthly, is the economic factor. Economically, the leaders outline and impose some un-Islamic taxes on the subjects, the general masses of the Hausa community. They impose taxes upon any things of value, according to Ali Abba. Anything of value is being taxed upon on the people to pay, which made life unbearable to the entire community. 
it made the rich, the happy rulers, more and more richer, and the masses and the subjects became more and more poor. So it is what Usman Nampodio began to see and expose those evil practices by highlighting it to the people that it is all these ones are un Islamic. And he began to preach against. And it is upon all these factors compounded together is what triggered the outbreak of the jihad of Usman and Fodio eventually, of which he emerged victor and successful, leading to the establishment of some of the candidates. Although some scholars in some interpretations they tend to include the Philippine factors, while the most dominant view is the one against the Philippine factors. Opposing that the full bay factors is a trivial factor, therefore, it is not worth of consideration. That is to say, those four factors applied so far are the major important factors contribute immensely to the outbreak of the jihad of Usman and Fodio in 19th century in Nigeria. I'm going to stop at this juncture. You can also follow us gradually to the next edition, which is going to be on the aftermath, consequences, and the result of the Jihad of Islam in the future. Thank you for listening. Keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing. Campus Tutorial TV. Thank you.